Hello, gorgeous people. Welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. Today, we are unloading, nope, we are decluttering all of my lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, and lip liners to go completely cruelty free. I hope this is a better camera angle than last time. It's very awkward the way this room is set up, but I'm doing my best. So I'm going to completely empty this out. You'll get some fast forward sounds and we'll go from there. Okay, I guess we'll start with, I don't know, these. I've got my ColourPop lippy sticks in two of them in Aquarius. Uh, ColourPop is completely cruelty free. So amazing, amazing, amazing. I've got these e.l.f. like uh, lip stains. This is in the color something. Pinky's up. Really pretty. And Elf is again completely cruelty free. I'm just gonna be putting my like minis here, I think, and I'll flip it up so we can see the color. I've got another one. This is Coral Cutie. Super cute. And I do have one more somewhere in there. It's still in the packaging. Uh, I've got this Revlon Hyper Matte Lip Mousse. Revlon is not. They themselves don't test on animals, but they do sell to countries where animal testing is required. So, bye. I have these Quo Beauty liquid lipsticks. This is a Canadian brand. It is completely cruelty free. This is in the shade. Oh God, sorry. That one's in the shade. Birthday suit. We have a helper. And then I have this one, which is in the shade on fire. It's just like a super electric pink. Uh, Essence Stay 8 Hour Matte Liquid Lipstick. All of Essence is completely cruelty free. Um, Amazing. What is this? Who are you? Maybelline. It's a really pretty color. But Maybelline is not uh, certified cruelty free. They do allow animal testing where required by law. So bye. Uh, Kylie Velvet Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade something. Candy K, I want to say. That's just a shot in the dark. Charm, not even close, but Kylie Cosmetics are cruelty free. Uh, CoverGirl is now cruelty free. Has been for quite a few years, I should say. And that's it right there. This is just one of their like normal bullet lipsticks, uh, cream lipstick in the shade Honeyed Bloom. Really pretty. What is this? Carmella Cosmetics, and this is in the shade Goddess. Really 
stunning. I want to see something. Okay, I just switched up the lighting a little bit. I don't know if that made it any better or worse. It may have made no difference. <laughs> I have this Fenty Beauty, um, whatever their liquid lipsticks are called. This is in Uncensored. I think this is the only red that I have and it's like a true, true blue red. It does bleed quite a bit as you can see but that's okay. Uh, Mac has to go. I've got, uh, what is this? Russian red. Another really cool toned red and I, I'm very confident that Mac is not cruelty free. Hey Siri, is Mac Cosmetics cruelty free? Yeah, so according to uh, Cruelty Free Kitty, Mac used to be cruelty free, but in 2012 they lost that status when they started selling in China, which requires for them to pay for animal testing. So, bye. What is this? Context. It's a really pretty shade as well. I need to clean my hand. Uh, it was that one. I don't know. Of context cosmetics made in China yeah it says their formulas are vegan non-toxic free of formaldehyde formaldehyde, formaldehyde resin toline DBP and camphor and they are cruelty free good stuff just some makeup wipes here that I'm trying to use up A lot of these like have really good staying powder, powder, staying power. So yeah. What's next? What is this? Mordita lip stain. I don't know who this is by. Reen R. Belde. I don't know if you can read what this says. I don't know. Really pretty color. I'm gonna have to do some more research on that one. Distributed by Rena Cosmetics LLC. Let's take a peek. Rena Rebelde. I really hope I'm saying that right. I'm so sorry if I'm not, but they are completely cruelty free, which is great. That's really pretty. <laughs> what are you? L'Oreal is not considered cruelty free because they do sell in this is just a like a lip colored lip gloss i'm not even sure what this is called um, doesn't say on here anymore but they are not cruelty free because they do sell in china and they do uh, allow animal testing where it's required by law, so I... Well, that's obnoxious. Same with my two NARS, like mini Laguna lipsticks. NARS, same deal, not cruelty free. Um... Yeah, same with this. Like, really gorgeous color, like a corally red. It's the NARS just like bullet lipstick. Hopefully one day they'll get to get their shit together. Revlon, no dice, Maybelline, Maybelline. These are all going. These are Maybelline, Maybelline, Revlon, Revlon and Maybelline. It's really unfortunate that more drugstore brands are not Fully cruelty free kind of makes me sad this is just a quo qo beauty like lip lip balm it's in the wrong showing you completely off camera it's in the wrong drawer but again completely cruelty free it's gonna go up here <laughs> 
and uh, we will tackle this in my next video. Sorry, I just hit the camera. Oh, here's the other elf stain. I knew I had another one somewhere. This is like a true red, what's this color called? Fiery red. That's really pretty. They're not super opaque because they are a lip stain. So those are all just right there. I do have these mini Quo Beauty lipsticks. Like they are so tiny. That one's not even open. <laughs> so these are gonna go here as well. Oh and I'll show you. They even have the like little I don't know if it's gonna focus on that ever. Oh, there you go. It's got the little bunny showing it's cruelty free. This is, this is like a 80s neon pink. Super cool. This is in the shade, babe. Got another Kylie, uh, Kylie Cosmetics matte liquid lipstick. This is in bunny. Okay, Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is just like a lip stain again. So yeah, Dusty Rose Lip Stain, ABH Cosmetics are good to go. Same with anything NYX. I think this might be the only NYX thing that I have. So yeah. Essence, anything Essence. The whole brand is completely cruelty free. This is half caked. <laughs> They're like a smaller brand. I have a lot more red liquid lipsticks than I thought I did, but they are, again, cruelty free. So pretty. Sephora brand is not, which is ridiculous, but Whatever, I've got two of my open lippy sticks by ColourPop. Okay, and then I've got these Fenty Beauty refills. Just see if I can show you the colors. Those are all good to go. Good to stay, I should say. One more, this is their older packaging. I should probably throw this out, but I refuse to. CoverGirl is cruelty free, which I think I said earlier. Love it. That's just maybe fit in there. No, I think I'm gonna move these to in there. Those in there, do that. This sucks, this pains me to throw out because like it's freaking beautiful. Like so summery, so peachy. It's a Laura Mercier um, lipstick and like, but unfortunately Laura Mercier does allow shipping or sorry, does allow the sale of their products in China, which is no bueno for uh, animal testing. So, gotta get rid of that. I've got my two Burt's Bees. These are both are, uh, in the shade 500. They're both open, because of course I can never help myself. So, just a nude lipstick. Who are you? Oh, ColourPop. I didn't know I had any of their bullet lipsticks. This is in the shade Tiptoe. It's like a really nice beige nude. The packaging's really cute. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's got like little stars all over it. Too cute. I do have a lot of lip balm up here. I'm just gonna hide that away. Um, I can do my lip liners because most of these are ColourPop. And this one is Exo Beauty, so these are all good. This, I don't know about BH Cosmetics. I'm gonna have to look into that. 
Kylie is good. I'm pretty sure Winky Lux is cruelty free, but again, I'm gonna have to look into that. NYX, good stuff. L'Oreal Paris, another gorgeous bullet lipstick, which honestly, I don't even wear bullet lipsticks that much anyways, so. I'm more upset that they haven't gotten their shit together, really, is what it is. Uh, I've got this Patrick Ta lip gloss. This is in the shade Joy de Vivre. Nope, this is Complex Culture. I thought this was Patrick Ta. I am. I have one by Patrick Ta. It's up here somewhere. I don't know. We'll, we'll tackle that beast another day. This is going up here. It's lip gloss. <laughs> I've got this Essence bullet lipstick. I don't even know if I can swatch anymore. Oh, super creamy. Holy crap. Such an underrated brand, I feel. Got this like weird duo toned. Like, it's not an ugly color, it's just weird. They're kind of cute when you blend them together. I think these are both by Queen or Qveen, Oveen. It's probably Oveen. Nope, Qveen, Queen. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to look this up. <laughs> uh, and Tarte, just like a lip gloss again. Okay, so ethicalelephant.com says Almay is not cruelty free in 2023. They allow their products to be tested on animals when required by law. So, bye. <laughs> oh gosh, I think Catrice is. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 100% cruelty free. This is again a lip balm and it's not even open, but Catrice is good, which I kind of figured. I've got one last bullet lipstick. This is by Mellow Cosmetics. Um, it's just like kind of a dusty rose. That was a terrible swatch. I apologize. That was garbage, but that that's not garbage. That's a gorgeous lipstick. My swatching skills are garbage. I'm really, really, really dreading going through the next drawer. It's gonna be super satisfying for you because there's gonna be like a lot of throwaways and a lot of... God, my hand is like fully stained. Um, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of decluttering, a lot of fast forward sounds, but for me it's slightly daunting. Okay, so I have these two BH Cosmetics like little bitty liquid lipsticks. Oh no. <laughs> Super like pigmented. Really pretty and yeah, they are uh, they are a cruelty free brand. And I looked these up. The Qveen Queen. I'm really sorry I don't, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> It's Q-V-E-E-N. I'm sure I'm just the last one to be able to f figure out how to pronounce it. But these lip liners are absolutely stunning. Oh my gosh. So this is Fake Tan and this one's SOS. Um, and this whole brand is completely cruelty free. So there we have it. My lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, lip liners, completely decluttered. I will put a before and after that looks way better. I feel better about it. This, oh gosh, I don't want to drop any. This is all the stuff that's going away. To be honest, most of this is expired, so I'm just going to end up uh -oh, throwing it out. Um,
There you go. There's some lip product ASMR. <laughs> With some jump scares mixed in there. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, subscribe if you want to see this. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. If you want to see this get tackled, because I think that's the next one that I'm going to be filming. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to it. But I'm really happy with how this turned out. Let me know what your favorite cruelty-free brand is down below in the comments. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.